Um, <laughs> Ready? Ready. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Greg. It's nice to see you. Hi, Adne. How are you? Anyway, we are lucky to, to have you here in uh, this uh, digital edition. Can uh, you, you have this lovely performance, uh, really a good one, <laughs> a piece of you. Can, you. can you tell us a little about the performance? Yeah, so A Piece of You is a performance for a very small audience, um, either one person or a small group and maybe a family. And it is, like the title says, it's a piece of you. So I ask the audience some questions about themselves. Mm -hmm. And when they give me their answers, I write them down on a piece of paper, but I use a kind of very colorful notation system. So I use different colors and shapes and drawings and words um, to create a kind of graphic music notation. Mm. Um, and then I perform that piece on my cello. Um, so it's just an improvised music performance at the end, but hopefully because it's connected with the answers that the audience have given, um, they can hear their themselves in the music. You are you're a what's it called a multi artist, <laughs> uh, less musician, performing art uh, artist and uh, composer. Where, where did you get this uh, splendid idea from? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I think it maybe came, so I, I studied music, um, but very quickly after graduating, ended up working in theatres. Um, and then um, it was an offer to create a piece um, in a little mini festival, which would happen for one to one. So mm. a, a whole series of performances for one audience at a time. And that's where I first did this, um, and it was for adults. Um, and actually, it was very short. It was only like 10 minutes. So it's kind of expanded into what the piece actually needs, which is about 20 minutes for questions and five minutes for music. Um, mm. But it's kind of evolved from that start. Um, I've always been really interested in the ways that music crosses over with other art forms so with visual art or live art um theater so it's all a, a mix of those mm. but uh, this is a quite uh, exclusive audience uh, group <laughs> how, how how is the reaction for, uh, because you 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 said uh, earlier uh, when i talked to you uh, that you played for uh, both uh, children and teenagers and Grown-ups, what's uh, have you anything to say about this uh, different target groups? Or yeah, what? I mean, generally speaking, um, it does feel different performing f the work for children mm. to adults. Um, adults often get very thoughtful about their answers. Um, children can sometimes be very direct and um, just answer the question straight away um, and teenagers may be somewhere in between slightly mm -hmm. self-conscious but not quite um, I don't know it's that's generalizing um, but what's really lovely for me is that each individual performance is its own thing but I get to see the differences um, I get this unique perspective of seeing how different people answer the same questions Really looking forward to to uh, to see the both the, the performance and the reactions of the performance. We hope to see you live sometime <laughs> in uh, in uh, in Oslo. So um, it's again, it's great to have you here digitally and uh, toy toy with your performances. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye.